Hi, this is Benita and welcome back to this video. There are different ways for us to allow customers discover the loyalty program we have for them. One excellent way of doing this is using the launcher. All right. In today's video, we're going to see how to show a reward program panel on our WooCommerce storefront using this launcher. All right. Now, the good news is WP Loyalty comes with an inbuilt launcher widget that makes it easy for our customers to discover the loyalty program we have for them. All right. So if you haven't installed the plugin, you will have to go and install it first. You can use this URL, visit it and purchase the plugin, after which you will be able to install it on your WordPress site. All right. Nice. So once you've completed the installation successfully, you can go ahead and activate the launcher widget that we're going to deal with in this video. Let me first show you how this launcher widget looks like. All right. To see how the launcher looks, we will have to go to the storefront. Well, we are on the storefront right now and I'm going to show you what this launcher looks like. All right. Let's go to the top right corner at the bottom and you see something called my rewards, right? We're going to hit that button and you'll be able to see the launcher widget. So this is the launcher widget I'm talking about. It already displays the following information, the name, points we have collected and then earn points, redeem points. All right. So this is one excellent way for customers to discover the programs we have for them and get benefits of all of it. All right, nice. Now, another good news that WP Loyalty offers for you is that you can customize this launcher as you wish. All right, so we're also going to deal with that in today's video. Before which I would also like to remind you that once you finish the installation of the plugin, you'll be able to see this launcher. This is an inbuilt one, so you don't have to separately download it, but make sure to activate the launcher once you install the plugin. Okay, it must be activated already, but you can also make sure if it's activated by going to the WP Loyalties dashboard after the installation and navigate to the add-ons tab, which will show you the installed add-ons. So this is there by default. All right. So you can see right now WP Loyalty launcher is activated on my store. If you do not want to show the launcher, then you can click this deactivate button. So now that I have made sure that the launcher is activated, I can go ahead and customize this one. Okay, so let me take you through the various options that are available for the customization. To customize the launcher, we will have to click on this open button. All right. So once you click on the open button, you'll be able to see different customizations you can do with the launcher. Let's go one by one. The first one is design. It deals with logo, colors, branding, etc. Let me take you through one by one. So let's go to logo first. You can choose to either show or not show the logo. You can also update an image for this. All right, nice. That's all about the logo. And then for colors, you can give a different theme color. So this theme color is selected during the onboarding process. All right, so if you wish to change it, you can also do that. You can also give a different color or text to the buttons. That is also possible. Nice, isn't it? And then branding. So you can see by default, as soon as the launcher is on, you'll be able to see this watermark, right? This branding which says powered by WP loyalty. So if you want to want to hide this, you can also do that, but it should be done only in the pro version. So you can use the pro version to hide this watermark or the branding. All right. Yes. So this is all about design. Let's move to the content. So under the content, you'll be able to see two different views. This is something that we need to know about the launcher. The launcher has two different views. One is for the guest user and the other for the logged in users or the member. All right. The one that you're seeing on the screen right now is for the guest user. So guest users, when they get into your store for the first time and they click on the launcher, they'll be able to see this message that says join now that invites them to join the program. If you click this uh, button, it will redirect you to the sign up page where users can sign up for the program and become a member. All right. So this is the view for the you for the guest users. Now let's move ahead for the member. All right. So for the member, it looks like this. It displays the points and ways to earn and redeem along with the name, okay, which welcomes them basically. So these are two different views of the launcher that we need to know about. Okay, so let's go for first for the guest and see what or we can customize. There are three things you can customize under this welcome, earn and redeem referrals. So welcome is nothing but the text, the title, the description, okay, and the sign in link, etc. Buttons, you can also use short codes like display site title, sign up URL, sign up URL, etc. 
right and then earn and redeem here also you can give a different title for the earn part you can also choose to have a different image now right now this is the image but you can also upload your own image and then similarly for the redeem you can change this text or also upload a different image for this all right nice so this is all about earn and redeem and referral so if you have a referral program on then that will also be displayed on the launcher you can also edit the title and description for it if needed okay this is about guest similarly for the member you cannot do all of those three things and the in the banner you can choose what all to be given enabled or disabled all right nice now let's move to the launcher so if you click on launcher you'll be able to edit the appearance okay the visibility the position spacing etc okay you can choose how the visibility should be on and then text you can also change the text and the font family you can style the fonts actually and then you can also choose different images for the icon you can choose a different icon basically and then visibility you can choose whether this uh, launcher should be displayed on mobile only or desktop only or both and then position right now you saw that my launcher is on the right right so if i click position left then my launcher will be displayed on the left side similarly spacing so all of these things you can do in the launcher so once you have done all the things that that is required for your customization and you have customized the launcher the way you like you can go ahead and save the settings okay you can also reset it any time if you want okay now that the settings are changed we should be able to see the customizations reflected on the storefront Okay, now let me take you to the storefront and reload this page for you to understand that the customizations are saved. Remember, there is only one thing that I did in this video, which I moved the position of the launcher from right to left. Now we can see that my launcher is on the left side. So customizing this launcher is one thing that I find best about the plugin. All right. Nice. So if you do not want this launcher, you can go ahead and deactivate it. But I would definitely recommend it because it's a great way for customers to quickly get to know the loyalty program we have for them. Now what else? Just install the plugin and play with whatever options you need for your customers and they're definitely going to love it. Thank you so much for watching.